my lovely ladies and handsome gents, welcome once again to Talk to the Head Reviews. Oh my goodness, I'm so glad to see you again. I have a lot of fun doing these videos and I'm thankful that you're here watching. And today I have something that I it just came to me. I thought, oh, this is kind of a fun idea. Is this the fragrances that I'm currently reaching for most out of my collection? And I think a lot of these I reach for regularly because for a few reasons, I just know they're they're easy to wear. They're 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 mostly pretty lightweight. Uh, they're really good for spring and summer, but I use them all year round as well. But right now, I've noticed I've been just reaching for these fragrances more than the others. So I'm going to share that with you. Number one, Elizabeth Arden. Sorry, Elizabeth Taylor. Elizabeth Taylor Gardenia. Oh my gosh, I think I, well you see, this is my second bottle of this and I, I'm, I'm gonna need a third pretty soon. Ah, oh, just lose myself, lose yourself in the amazing gardenia fragrance. I've always been a fan of gardenia, tuberose, uh, you know, lily of the valley type of fragrances and uh, I use this one a lot and it's just a very light, it's a really nice gardenia. I know some people have compared it to um, the Chanel gardenia, a new Chanel, newish Chanel gardenia. Well, it's not like from the eighties. I don't think when I, when I used to work eighties and nineties when I worked in fragrances, but it's really nice. It's a cute little bottle cap. It's just beautiful. And it's very reasonably priced. So that's another reason why I reach for this a lot because I know I can use it with pretty much with abandon and uh, abandon and abandon and abandon and, and it's okay. Anyways, so Elizabeth Taylor Gardenia. If you like Gardenia, this is one of the, I think it's one of the really nice ones. Okay, next up, I've done a video about this one. And I consider this fragrance to be happiness in a bottle. <laughs> Isemiyake Pleats, please. Oh man. I just, it's like joy, joy in a bottle, but not joy. That's another perfume. It is so happy. It is so happy. It is like a spring, summer day where just like it's a birthday party. It's a birthday party. It's a, it's an outdoor festival. It's, it's sprinkles on a donut. It doesn't smell like it's not gourmand. What I mean is it's, it really, it's a, it's a light floral, but it, it's not a light floral. It's kind of a strong floral, but I wouldn't say it's really very sweet but it's, um, it's just a gorgeous, it's a gorgeous fragrance and I, I love it and I've been reaching for it a lot. Please, please. It's a little stronger than the other ones, so I don't reach for it as often, but I really love it. Please, please, but it's Simiyaki. Up and move around. This is just a gap. I just get the urge to jump up and dance, you know. And I, I think it's good for us. So many of us sit in, at our computers a lot. I work at my computer, so I, I sit there a lot. So I like to encourage people and myself to get up sometimes. Okay, this has been one of my favorites forever. I used to sell it behind the counter in the late '80s when I worked in fragrance. My first fragrance, my first fragrance job. Uh, if you don't count the cosmetics job I had before that one, I also sold fragrance for that company, but Tea Rose! I love this so much. This smells so much to me. Like tea roses. This smells like, it's not sweet. It's more dry, more of a dry rose fragrance, but it just smells to me so much like 
It reminds me so much of roses. And I used to work as a floral designer. And uh, I can't necessarily say that this reminds me of any specific roses, but overall, I think it smells like a more genuine rose fragrance than some rose fragrances out on the market. And it's very uh, reasonably priced. And as you can see, my dent is large and I need to get another one probably pretty soon. So tea rose, that's what I'm reaching for a lot. I probably reach for this more than more than most of my fragrances. I got this one recently, Vera Wong Glam Princess. This is a bit more fruity. But it's a light, happy, a light, happy floral with some fruit, a bit of fruit smells, kind of melon, a little bit of berry or melon, probably berry and melon is in there. I wouldn't say there's more fruit than floral. I'd say that there's more floral, but it, it's it's nice, it's light. I put it on and I, like, like most of the fragrances I gravitate to, it, uh, I put it on and it it's a nice light fragrance and i think it goes well with my body chemistry because i don't really notice it that much after i put it on which is supposedly a thing too that they used to tell us when i worked in cosmetics and fragrance that when you have a, when you wear a fragrance a lot like you spray it on you use it a lot and people compliment on you compliment you on it but you don't smell it anymore that that means it goes well with your body chemistry. I don't know where that came from, but when I worked at Fragrance and Cosmetics, that was a general rule that they told us and everyone knew. So uh, I'm telling you, yeah, Vera Wong Glam Princess. Hey, and by the way, uh, if you don't mind, if you could comment down below what fragrances you're currently reaching for. Right now it is a, like early mid spring and uh, you know, I'm kind of concentrating more on some of those spring, summery type fragrances, but I think, and most people think too, you can wear a fragrance, whatever you want, any time of year. You know, the strongest, fra opium, you can wear that anytime. Wear that in spring, who cares? If you like it, wear that anytime you want. Chanel number five, sure. It doesn't have to be fall or winter, wear it whenever you want. But some people could basically, uh, think that the lighter fragrances are for spring and summer, whereas the heavier, more heady fragrances are for fall and winter. That can be true, but you know, you don't have to box yourself in. Why box yourself in? This is another one that I got recently, and that's kind of a big dent for me because I don't really go out that much, but, uh, and I haven't reviewed this one individually yet, but it's Cabotine Rose from Greth, the famous, very, uh, very classic fragrance company, Gare, famous for Cabotine, Cabochard. Well, this is Cabotine Rose. And I, 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 it was a, it was a, it was a blind buy, they say. I don't like to use those, t I don't like to say blind buy because I have glaucoma. You know, it's like, no, no, I don't, I don't want to be blind. I don't want to say blind buy, you know, I just, um, you know, glaucoma, it's a, it's an, uh, an eye, you, you lose your vision. Anyways, I, I didn't really need to go into that, but, um, it was a purchase without knowing at all what it would be like, except for other people's reviews on Fragrantica and stuff like that. But this is, this is such a light, rosy, it's not really... I wouldn't say rose is up front, like it's nothing like as rosy as tea rose, for instance, but but it is just a beautiful, light, uh, non-invasive, feminine floral fragrance. Cabotine Rose from Greth. One, another one I, mm, I love, mm. And I got a couple more. Did you write down below what you're using? I appreciate it if you do. If you write down below what, what you're reaching for right now, not just for me, it's not just for me, it's for all the other people watching. And there's a few people watching, there's a few. So maybe you'll help them too. All right, and this is another one that, you know, my mom used, it's been around forever, it's really affordable. I, probably everyone's tried it. 
Vanderbilt by Gloria Vanderbilt. Oh. Oh, man. It's a... Oh, sorry, bug. Oh, I hope I didn't hurt that bug. Mmm. It's a spicy, I would say spicy white flower fragrance. Oh, I just love this. It just, it's, it's still available. Been around forever. Vanderbilt, another nice light, probably a white floral. Love it. So that's six, we're down to one more. Yardley English Rose. I love rose fragrances. Now this is, this is a sweeter rose fragrance. It's, it's, it's completely different from tea rose, for instance. I mean, it's a sweet, It's a, it's a sweet, light-ish rose fragrance. Uh, unlike tea rose, which I would say is a dry rose fragrance, I wouldn't say it's really sweet at all. It's like, it's almost like lemony rose. But this is a nice, sweet, light rose fragrance. If you're looking for something like this, also very affordable fragrance. Um, so Yardley English Rose. So there it is, my lovely ladies and handsome gents. I hope you're having a really nice time of year. It might be spring where you are, it might not. It might be fall where you are, my goodness. My goodness, if it is fall where you are, will you also please write down what you're using right now because that is kind of interesting. So thanks for watching, I'm Bold Reviews Lady. Please give it a like or a, a, a subscribe if you, if you are so inclined and I appreciate it. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.